Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about at the rate post mapping annotation. So guys, in this video, I will explain what exactly at the rate post mapping annotation is and how it works. I'll give you a demo to explain the concept. All right. So that being said, let's begin the video. All right. So let's see what exactly a post call. For example, we are using Flipkart. So guys, either you can use mobile application or you can use the web portal, right? And say, for example, we have two users. ABC and XYZ user ABC is using the mobile application and user XYZ is using the web portal right and they both want to register on Flipkart right so user ABC will pass his information to the Flipkart API Flipkart API will create a new record into the database for user ABC right similarly user XYZ will pass his information to the Flipkart API Flipkart API will create a new record into the database for user XYZ right guys so guys what exactly is happening we are sending user information to the API and API is creating a resource into the database right so guys whenever we are sending some information to the API to create a new resource into the database it means we are dealing with post call all right I hope this is clear all right guys at the rate post mapping method what it does it basically handles the http post request matched with the specific uri and it was introduced in spring 4.3 version before at the rate post mapping annotation we used to use at the rate request mapping annotation with a property called method where method equals to post okay now guys in spring 4.3 we have at the rate post mapping which is basically a shortcut for at the rate request mapping annotation where method equals to post all right guys so before spring 4.3 we used to use at the rate request mapping with the method property and spring 4.3 and later versions we use at the rate post mapping annotation without method property all right guys let's move now guys let's discuss this particular example so basically what are we doing here is we are creating a new resource into the database so as i said earlier we use at the rate post mapping annotation to create a resource into the database okay so basically here we are sending user information to the database and we are adding into the table all right guys now let me do one thing let me give an example let me give a demo to explain at the rate post mapping right so what i will do i'll start the id here we are I already have a user REST API Spring Boot project. Let me start our application. Let me show you how it looks like at the moment. All right. So here it says your application has started on port number 8080. Now guys, let me start Postman. I'm going to make a get call first. Localhost 8080 slash API slash users. Let me click on send. Now here guys, what do you see? So basically in our list, we have got four users. So if I go to the code, and if i go to the user controller if i go to get all users functions what do i have i have a list of users in my service class okay and here you can see that we have got four users into the list right guys now what we want to do is i want to explain the at the rate post mapping annotation okay so let me do one thing what we'll do we are going to add a new user to the database okay so i'll create a new function public and return type response entity of type user and the function name is create only and here i will pass at the rate request body annotation of type user new user okay now guys what i will do here so i will use user equals to service dot i'm going to create a function in our service layer and i'm calling it add user i'll pass new user here okay now i have to return return new response entity with what with the new user dot http status code dot created okay so guys this is good so basically in our post call we are returning the user the new user and now we need to create a function add user in our service layer all right so guys i already have a list called users so what i will do I'll simply add users dot add and I will add new user to our list simple right and here what I will do in return users dot get users dot size minus one so what I'm doing here is 
here guys we are adding one user to our list and i'm returning the same user from here so guys basically in production application you should store the user into the database okay so basically you have to call your repository from the service layer right and you have to return the same user okay so this is done i don't see any error let's go and add at the rate post mapping annotation okay and i will add the endpoint slash api slash user all right so what are we expecting i'll send the user information right and we want to add the user to our list all right guys so what i will do i'll stop our application let me just restart so guys if you look at the endpoint our endpoint would look something like this http colon double slash localhost colon 8080 slash api slash users okay so i'll copy the endpoint right and i'll go to postman i'll create a new request right now guys here i have to choose post that is what we want to understand now guys we need to pass the user information right so we have to go to body here and i'll go to row so what i will do i'll copy the user information from the previous result let's go to new request row and i'll paste the user information here i'll change the type to json okay now guys as i said that i already have four users in our list so i'm going to add new user and i'll call it okay java okay java chat dot okay java at the rate gmail.com right let's see the behavior so guys what do you see now you have got the user information because if you look at the code we are returning the same user the user which we are inserting into the database we are returning the same user right as a result and here you can see status code is 201 created okay now guys if i go and hit our get request one more time what do you see now you have got your fifth user here simple right so basically our post call is working perfectly fine all right guys now if i have to add user six i can go and simply add six and here i can add brainy brainy at the rate supergirl.com basically we are adding one more user click on send and here i see the user information and if i go and hit the get call one more time i see the next user as well right guys guys one more thing which i want to mention here is that you cannot test post call on your normal browser because you cannot pass the data right if you look at the post call we are sending user information right you cannot pass this information by using browser so you need to use a rest api client we are using postman here all right guys now guys here you can add i will just change this to path equals to like this here you can add more properties like consumes equals to media type dot application underscore json underscore value right so basically we are sending json information to our function and if i can also use another property called producers equals to media type dot application underscore json underscore value okay so let me just stop our application and let me just start all right guys so i'll go back to postman and i will try to insert the same record record number six click on send i see the same user i see the status code 201 created right success now if i go and hit the get api i should see the user id 6 all right guys i hope you guys are getting it right i hope this is clear all right guys here we are done with this video thank you for watching and please do subscribe to the channel